Oh god, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous and I don't know why. Is my background okay? I feel like I need a plant or something. Hold on. Let's add a cute plant. How's that? Ooh, it adds a little, a little oomph to the background. Oh! <laughs> I haven't done this in so long. What's good y'all? My name's Uma Leone. I'm a full-time artist and content creator located in Long Beach, California and this is my relaunch of my YouTube channel. And I say relaunch of my channel just because I used to do hair and makeup like my sophomore year of college which was oh my god. I don't want to date myself, but it was a while ago. That sounds so crazy. But I used to do hair and makeup and I would post videos and it's been a really long time since I've posted something. My life has changed so much since then. It's so crazy, actually. I really wanted to start up a channel, and I've been thinking about it for a long time. And today, I was like, you know what? I have the camera. I have lights. I'm not doing anything today. If I don't do it now, I don't think I'll do it. The reason I wanted to start a YouTube channel was I felt like... I felt like my TikTok and my Instagram weren't really showing me. I feel like YouTube is the perfect platform to really show y'all my personality and get to know y'all better and just be more open and vulnerable on this journey that I'm on. Instagram and TikTok tend to be very aesthetically pleasing places and while I think that's great, there's a lot of ups and downs that come along with my journey as a full-time artist. The whole reason I share this with y'all is that I want y'all to find encouragement through watching me do it, find inspiration. If I can help anyone in any way possible, that's my main goal. A lot of the reason that I had the confidence to be a full-time artist is because of other artists that I saw online. Like, I want this to feel like a community and not just me showing y'all my wins and that's it. I honestly didn't come here with a script or anything in mind. I really just felt like pouring my heart out a bit. So I hope y'all are cool with that but I don't really know if the setup's perfect yet or if I'm like even in frame or if I'm in focus. Y'all are really gonna have to give me some time to get used to this but yeah let's get into my story a little bit. So some of y'all may know me from TikTok and Instagram. I post all of my time-lapse videos and other cute videos on there. So my best friend actually got TikTok in like the peak of the pandemic and she wanted me to get it so bad but I was like I don't want to do that. Like I just at the time it felt like a horrible trash version of Vine and I was like no. You can't make me do that. I'm grown. I just graduated. That's for kids. Anyways, <laughs> fast forward two years and I'm literally obsessed just like I feel like all of us are. And I'm posting multiple videos almost every single day. And I just love it. So I started off doing video tutorials on like how I did my hair. I used to have a huge fro back then. So I did like hair videos. It was kind of picking up. I was getting wigs sent to me, makeup sent to me, getting reposted on different makeup Instagram like profiles. And I was like, okay. But it didn't really feel like me. Um, it's something that is fun to me, but it definitely wasn't my passion. And at that time, I didn't even realize that I wanted to get back into art. So I started posting stuff like that. And then... COVID hit its peak and I got fired from my job and it was, this is so horrible, but it was amazing. I was so happy. <laughs> okay, so let me back up. While I was posting these hair and makeup videos, I worked at a car rental company. I was fresh out of college. I didn't really know what I wanted to do, so I had interned for them in the summer and I was like, you know what, let me just go full time. At the time, I thought it was gonna be okay. I thought I would get like some manager experience on my resume and I told myself I'll quit in 
a year or two. And honestly, I'm not even mad about it because if I didn't get fired, I think that I would have stayed at that company for a very long time. So very much divine timing. I thank God for it almost every day, but I was let go and it was really hard and I didn't know what I was going to do and I was really scared. But luckily, we, I had those unemployment checks coming in and so I was good money-wise, but I just felt so lost. I had a degree in sociology, didn't want to use it. I thought maybe I'd go into corporate, into sales, something like that. I don't know. I was just, I feel like that's the story of so many of us, but I really just didn't know what I was going to do. I started getting back into painting. It was so relaxing and such a stressful time. I started posting it on my TikTok where I was doing like hair and makeup and it was just so much fun. I had not felt a happiness and just like a pure joy <laughs> in such a long time. I Just the past few years before I started posting were so stressful and I just felt like I wasn't being genuine to myself. And getting back into art, I felt so at peace. And I was posting without even having the intent of becoming a full-time artist or making money off of this or monetizing social media. I was just, it was bringing me peace in a very stressful time. So I was posting all these cute videos. I was learning how to do the transitions and I was like, okay, this is fun. So I just kept doing it and eventually I found a new job. I found a job in tech. I was doing um like a customer service type of role it was cool i was doing that but then i was also posting videos on the side and eventually i decided to start selling some of my art it was so exciting at first it was just like my friends and my family supporting me and shout out to them they promoted me like no other but then it started growing and random people started following me and i was like oh my god like i think i could I can do this like it might take a while but I think like this is what I want to do and it was such an exciting time it's still so exciting but I I feel like the come up is the best part of the journey and I'm definitely still in the come up like don't get me wrong I am nowhere near the place I want to be in the future but the come up was just so much fun eventually brands started reaching out and I was like stop I got reached out to by Mountain Dew. They had this collaboration with Bob Ross. Okay, hold on. I have to show you all the apron. Hold on. I kept it. I don't ever use it because I really like, it's like sacred to me, but this is my little Mountain Dew apron. I, I don't want to get paint on it because it's it was my first brand collaboration and it just means so much to me. But yeah, Mountain Dew reached out and I did that super cute video for them. After that, Alicia Keys reached out through her skincare brand and they wanted me to do a piece and it just was so validating because I feel like a big part of being an artist and putting your work out there is the feedback that could possibly come back. It's so scary. That was a huge hurdle that I had to overcome but I think because my friends and family were so supportive, it kind of helped me get over that initial, oh my god, how is the internet going to react to me? But once the brand started reaching out, I was like, hold up, hold up. I think I can monetize this, like for real, for real. And to me at that time, when I thought of monetizing social media, I would think of like influencers, like classic influencers, like clothes, hair, makeup, those types. I had never really heard of an artist influencer, like an artist content creator. And it just opened up like something in the back of my head and I was like, oh my god, wait, 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 I think I can do this. For about a year, I was in my tech job and then I was doing my videos on the side. It was rough, don't get me wrong, like I would get off at six o'clock most days and then I would have to go film a video and keep in mind my videos aren't always the easiest. I have to set up to paint, set up my stuff to record, and I have to have the motivation to paint. That's a big thing too is 
I'm not always in the mood or sometimes I have a creative block. So it was hard. That year was really difficult, but I loved it and I kept it pushing. And it's gotten to a point now where I'm just like, I don't know how I got all these people to follow me. It's like every single day I'm just like, what is my life right now? <laughs> it makes me so happy, y'all. I'm not trying to even, I'm like, okay, I'm making myself emotional. Um, Oh my god, I'm actually crying. Stop. <laughs> That's so silly. Um, <laughs> hold on. Hold on. <laughs> it just did make me go. I feel like I was so unhappy for such a long time. And the fact that I've been able to make it to this point and whew, be so happy with my life and do what I love is, I feel like, such a blessing. I realized that not a lot of people make it to this point where they're able to take care of themselves through a passion. Like honestly, wholeheartedly, all I want to do with my platforms is encourage other people to do it too because when I was in that car, car rental job, when I was in the tech space, I was just, it was not me. And there was not that many people out there advocating for creative careers it was so out of like i didn't even consider it like it i knew i was a creative person and i feel like i was channeling it through like makeup and that's that was like my creative outlet but it was like oh that's just like something like fun and silly you do on the side and i've gone to this point where i have my own business i sell my art i have a like small community who supports me and is so genuine and loving i have a platform where i'm able to also be a content creator like my life has been so insane in the past two years one year the past six months i was not planning on getting on here and crying um that's in the shortest version of my story and i'm so excited to share the rest of it with y'all I plan on making a more in-depth video about my journey. There's so many details that I just left out, but I'm really excited for it. I'm excited to share my story. I'm excited to give y'all little daily vlogs. <laughs> These are happy tears, I swear. I want to do like live painting videos, which is so fun. This channel is going to be so free-flowing. Like It's not going to be that serious. I really just want to get to know y'all and I want y'all to be able to know me a little bit better. <laughs> I'm so excited. Anyways, now that I've told y'all a little bit about my journey, should we do like a little fun fact section just to stop the tears? So fact number one, right now I have a business called Leonie Studio. It's named after me, Uma Leonie. Lamy Studio is where you can find all of my art, so if y'all ever did want to support me, you can buy original canvases. This one's not done yet, but she's turning out real cute. She's called Blueprint, because black women, we are the blueprint. This is a piece I actually did a really, really long time ago, and I'm touching her up to be more aligned with my current art style. She's not up yet, but I'm still working on her. I put my art on anything possible. I feel like art is something that sh you should be surrounded by at all times. Art is a necessity. Art is kind of seen as a luxury sometimes, but there's so many ways to have art around you. I put my art on t-shirts and I paint on jeans and I put them on mugs. Let me show y'all one, cause I'm really proud of them. Hold on. It's so wrinkled, okay? I don't wanna hear it. I literally wore this the other day. When I tell y'all this video was so unplanned, just please. But this is one of my shirts. This is the Neglect shirt. Neglect is one of my favorite paintings in the whole, whole world. If you want to see the original painting, it's on display. Oh, I'm going to get emotional again. It's on display at the Renaissance Hotel here in Long Beach. So if you're in the LA area, please come see it. Take pictures with it. It's a beautiful piece in person. Not to toot my own horn, but it's, it's fire. Like, it's, it's my favorite painting. Outside of art, I'm a huge yogi. I love doing yoga. I'm super into Pilates right now, too. I'm recently locked 
and I love it. Anyone who ever asks me if they should lock their hair, I always say yes. But my locks, they actually just turned five months. Another fun fact about me, I am the oldest of four siblings. I am the oldest daughter. Pray for me. <laughs> let's do like two more and then let's wrap up. So I graduated from UCSB, go Gauchos. I was class of 2019. I have a love-hate relationship with that school, but anyways. And then this is my kitten, Uzi. Oh, I love him so, so much. He's my baby. He is Uzi, named after Lil Uzi Vert. That is his full government name, yes. And he's just a baby. We have matching chains. Can you see his chain? So cute. This is a silver household. I guess it's time to wrap this up. Thank you if you made it all the way to the end of the video. I don't know how often I'm going to be posting, but click subscribe and we'll figure it out together. <laughs> I don't really know how to stop the video. Like what I should say. <laughs> it was good talking to y'all. We'll talk soon.